can tell you that wind this morning cut right through you. Been a little breezy all day long and uh, putting a chill in the air for sure. Temperatures have been below average today. And this is related to that big storm that you're hearing so much about this weekend. I hear some more scenes out of Minnesota today, and Minnesota's not alone. Uh, there's been, uh, well, two feet of snow in uh, that state, but 18 inches of snow now in parts of uh, Wisconsin. Tonight, there are winter storm warnings extending all the way down to western parts of North Carolina. 1,200 flights canceled out of Chicago O'Hare today. Can you imagine the travel difficulties that are uh, spreading across the country because of that? Interstate shut down in Iowa and Illinois and, of course, in, uh, there in Minnesota and parts of Wisconsin as well. Well, down here, uh, we're in a good position not to see any of that. Unfortunately, we don't see any of uh, the rainfall either from these fronts that come through. They're dry, like this new one that has brought us the gusty north winds today and kept our temperatures in the 50s. Kind of nice yesterday before the front got here. We were back up above 70 degrees. Uh, today, not even to 60. 53 right now. At 8 o'clock tonight, we're forecasting about 45, and it will be cold. The air is very, very dry tonight. So as soon as these winds fall off, the temperature will start dropping pretty dramatically. 39 degrees is what we're forecasting in Austin for 10 o'clock tonight. So uh, bundle up. 52 in uh, Georgetown. It's uh, 51 degrees in Rockdale and in Giddings. It is 50 out in Burnett and Lampasas and Fredericksburg. And Blanco, you're coming in at 55. 54 down in San Marcos in Austin. Again, it's 53. I mean, you don't see this very often. Single digit dew points right now. The dew point temperature is 8 degrees. That relates or translates to 16% relative humidity. So dry air. Uh, when the skies go clear and these winds that are still 8 to 16 miles per hour uh, fall off tonight, the temperature will fall off a cliff, too. We're forecasting this to be probably the coldest night of the season in Austin. We've only had one freeze so far in the city, officially at Camp Mabry. Several Several freezes, of course, in rural locations, but tonight will be one of those nights. Mold count medium uh, to, uh, in your allergy forecast for uh, Monday. Temperatures around Texas, 40s in the northern half of the state right now. 45 degrees in Dallas, 48 in Abilene. Down in Corpus, it's a little warmer, but still cool at 60. Around the state, a oh, little patch of high clouds moving through the sky here, but uh, not anything to write home about. There's your big uh, winter storm still spreading snow. There's still blizzard warnings in effect for uh, parts of Michigan and spreading snow now all the way down into Georgia, below freezing right now in Atlanta. A big storm also pounding the Pacific Northwest. Five inches of rain in the Seattle to area today. They're expecting as much as eight inches of rain there. The cold weather dropping south through the Midwest now. It's 20 in Chicago. Chicago right now. Fargo minus six. That's not a wind chill. Minus six on the thermometer right now. This is the wind chill. Minus 17. It feels like a degree above zero in Chicago. Kansas City, it feels like minus three. In Atlanta right now, it feels like 14 above. And there are freeze warnings tonight as far south as northern Florida. But this pattern, this repetitive pattern we've seen all month, uh, just going to continue doing the same thing. Dips in the jet stream will carry these uh, periodic lows down and then across the north. They'll send dry cold fronts through Texas, but the coldest weather remains to the east, and we get these little glancing blows of cold air. For a night or two, it's you know pretty chilly, and then we're right back up to 65, 70 degrees. That's what's going to happen all week long. Not only this week, this is the new 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. This takes us through Christmas. This is to December. 26th, drier than normal from all of Texas into most of the east, wetter than normal still in the Pacific Northwest, and here's the good news if you're not a big fan of the cold, we're expecting, expecting to be warmer than normal through most of Texas and most of the west, a little colder than normal in the east. We, we may go through this entire month without any rainfall in Austin. That would be unusual. December's typically fairly dry, but still, in normal December, about two inches of rain. All right, so the next few days, we'll continue to see cold mornings, especially tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, colder too, but noticeably warmer afternoons, especially beginning on Tuesday, Wednesday. Then we got another dry cold front sweeping through here on Thursday, but nothing too dramatic. Tonight, uh, overnight lows. Uh, we're going to fall into the 20s everywhere. Uh, we may not fall much below 30 right in Austin, but that will be the warmest temperature overnight. And those cold pockets in the hill country, you know where you are. Uh, you could be down around 18, 19 in the morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at high temperatures back a little bit warmer than today as the warming trend begins into the low 60s. Tonight, we'll go clear late. 30 in Austin with the wind becoming light. Tomorrow the wind tries to go back south. That should take us to 61 and mostly sunny on the seven-day forecast. Uh, Tuesday, 70. Nice. Wednesday, 77. Real nice. That cold front, the next one, dry front, through on Thursday. 
and that'll lead to some cooler weather all the way into and probably through next weekend.